Touch for Meyer. Touch now for Chan. More than one touch. Emre Chan. Kevin Volland. Goalkeepers come. Volland bypass him. And Germany lead. Not through butter. It is a beautifully worked goal. And Kevin Volland executes. What a fantastic finish from Volland. But just look at this ball from Chan. Absolutely inch perfect. Volland never has to break his stride. That's what happened. Denmark lost the ball in a poor area. But watch Chan here. Just keeps running and that is an absolutely outstanding ball. Volland doesn't have to break his stride, he doesn't even have to take a touch. Great finish for Volland and great run to get on the side of the centre back. But what a ball from Chan. And we know that's what he's capable of. We saw it so much in the second half against Serbia. Fantastic. You've got to say that over the last five or ten minutes, it's been coming in Germany a well worthy league. Chan left its left foot and it was brilliantly dispatched. That is a gem of a free kick. Kevin Volland down again. And Germany are pulling away. It's a fantastic finish from Volland, but we always look at the kicks running from that far out. Should the keeper push against and really be beaten? It's a tough one, but if you look at the wall as well, it's actually. Vegan Crittenson, he separates himself from the wall, whereas if it had stayed in the wall, the likelihood would have hit, it would have hit him. And the chip would have done its wall. Bush Jensen is left with far too much to do, but he's hoping that his wall is covering that side. Well. Well. Christensen, Unisys, cross, and Germany's third goal. Matthias Ginter up from centre half, putting the issue beyond all reasonable doubt. It's far too easy. Fantastic header from Ginter, but once again, it's down this left hand side. They haven't done any to rectify it at half time. Time and time again, they're able to put the crosses in. Yes, that may have been the game plan to allow crosses to come in, but not from them areas, maybe from the wideers. But this is far too easy. You just see there, and Eunice gets past Vegan Christensen as though it's not even there. And that's far too easy. Take nothing away from the cross and the head. Denmark can do so much more down the defensive side. Well, this begins to look dangerous for Denmark in terms of uh, morale. They're not going out of competition tonight, but what they would want is a real shredding going into.